As many of you know, I have been doing the rice diet now for seven or eight weeks, something like that. It's been a while, actually. I've been pretty consistent with it. And I decided, uh, I think it was last week, to add in beans. And then this past weekend, I added in a little bit of wheat. And I kind of wanted to talk about that addition to the diet in this video. So here we are. So I added them separately. I decided, uh, if anybody follows my Instagram who's watching this video, I posted, I think it was just a picture of uh, baked potatoes with beans and corn and something else on top of it. Onion, I think it was. And I get, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, you know what was in that? It literally was just baked potatoes with baked beans on it. I added in beans again the next day and the next day. And the first day's digestion afterwards was all right. But then actually it was really good. So I've discovered that I can add beans in and have great digestion. Fast forward to the weekend, this past weekend, and I added in wheat on Saturday and Sunday and no real issues with digestion there. So as far as I can see, it seems like I can add them in. Now, I'm not gonna have them all the time, especially beans, because beans have a lot more protein than my body really likes to digest. I know a lot, there's a huge you know, thing with protein these days. I'm not a huge fan of protein. I don't really love it. Uh, just because back in my keto carnivore days, I had a lot of protein, obviously, and my kidneys got really messed up from it. And even still to this day, when I have a lot of protein, I will start noticing that my kidneys are, you know, I, there's a, like not a lot of pain, a lot, not a lot of back pain, but a little bit. So I try to stay away from that. Now, if somebody hasn't gone through this and somebody who hasn't done this to themselves, I, I'd imagine you can add beans, you know, daily. I know McDougal really likes adding beans daily to his recipes. Uh, for good reason it, it you know it's it's a they, they actually have a surprisingly large amount of fiber and fiber is really good that's the one thing like these carnivore and keto people are always bragging about how they only take a dump like three times a week or like one or one to three times a week i've heard i'm like that is not good that is not desirable i don't know why they they want that to be a thing but they do <clears throat> uh you know in my mind you really should have some kind of bowel movement at least once a day if not more i mean i mean this is tmi but i mean it's not uncommon for me to go three or four times a day you know <clears throat> now in the beginning if you're if you're watching this video for whatever reason and you're on keto or carnivore in the beginning you are going to be super 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 bloated super bloated and i've seen I was gonna do a reaction video to this, but she's so annoying. I don't even remember wh what her name is, but one of the channels who says, uh, you know, she was a she's a carnivore channel, <clears throat> and she said she added in carbohydrates and was bloated all the time and looked pregnant. Of course, of course, you don't have the microbiome to digest this stuff anymore. You don't have the enzyme profile to d digest this stuff anymore. It's just not there. You didn't need it, so your body's not gonna make it if it doesn't need it. You know, it's use it or lose it with everything in the body. Every function in the body is use it or lose it. And it's just like that with everything. So if you're not using these enzymes really in digestion, your body's got real, really no reason to make excess of it. Now, if you're eating a lot of carbohydrates and not a lot of protein, it's going to be the same vice versa. <clears throat> So that's probably why a lot of people get issues with beans who've been high carb, low fat. All of a sudden you eat beans and you don't have the digestive enzymes to break the beans down, whatever it might be. But if you're coming off real high protein and you add carbohydrates in, you are going to have a hard time digesting that. It's just the way life works. It just is the way it is. Your body is not going to do something it doesn't have to do. It's got a finite amount of energy and it really doesn't want to spend all of it on your digestion. And that is why I don't understand why people would brag about the fact that your body is moving so slow to digest something that you're only going one to three times a week. That just doesn't make any sense. It's not good. Uh, the, uh, McDougal did an interview with, I think, Burke... Dr. Burke, I think his name was. He was he's out of England and he went to Africa to do um he, he went to like a ministry type thing, I guess, in Africa, and he noticed that they didn't have any of these Western diseases that we get. And the most common thing that they found was that on average these Africans had 300 grams 
uh, fiber in their diet every day and because of that everything cleaned out. You are literally a juicer. Your body is a juicer. So if it can't digest everything, if you're I like if if so, if you're somebody who makes juices and your your juicer is clogged with cement, how much juice is it actually going to make? So then it just builds up, builds up, builds up and all of a sudden I'm, I'm imagining that just there's a, enough in there that eventually kind of just pushes itself out. I don't know. So I added them in and they did work quite well. I, I do like the idea of this rice diet just in the, in the fact that it's kind of an elimination diet. You eliminate a bunch of stuff and that's the, I, I think in my mind, that's why people are getting cured on uh, carnivore is because it is an elimination diet, basically. If you're eating the Taco Bell, Doritos, and all that all the time, and then you all, all of a sudden just eat meat and like maybe fruit, that is a huge elimination diet, and all of a sudden your, your stuff is getting cured. It's no different than with the rice diet, and this is probably one of the reasons that it works so well with uh, Dr. Walter Kempner and everybody else who's done the, the rice diet, uh, doctors who've done the, uh, the rice diet. Now, the starvation thing that they put onto that, I don't agree with that at all. A lot of people like to point that out in the comments section, and it was true, uh, uh, you know, but I read the book. He didn't put everybody on like four to 800 calories. He only put certain people on four to 800 calories, and it was a, like a per per person basis and this is why he never wanted to write a book is because everybody he had a specific plan for every single person because he was going to be seeing them in the clinic so he could really monitor it you know i, I don't agree with that at all what he was doing because if you look at Ansel keys in the minnesota a starvation uh, study or project or whatever it was called that really it showed that the body needs calories like it like a lot of these people were fighting each other, daydreaming about food all day. They they really were being tortured by this. Uh, you know, I, I was just actually reading something about the, the, the Minnesota study today. Um, they would stretch out one meal for like four hours. They would take one little bite because they were being, you know, starved. It started off, they got these people healthy and then they started starving them. And it was a mess. And most of these people um, could never get skinny the rest of their life. You know, they stayed fat the rest of their life because they, they screwed them, their bodies up so much. That's why I don't know why Walter Kempner did the four to 800 calories. That doesn't make any sense. This video, uh, anyway, uh, I, so anyway, I added the beans, I added the uh, wheat, and I've, I've found no issue with that. Now, am I going to go on a strictly wheat diet or a strictly bean diet? No, but I did, I did find it interesting that I could add them in. I did not add the beans though with rice of all you know it's doing kind of like a rice diet and i didn't even add it in with the rice i only added it in with potatoes and the wheat was just by itself so maybe that's the key you know maybe that's the key maybe you have to keep it as simple as humanly possible and everything will work out exactly how you need it i don't know i don't know but uh you know try it out for yourself it worked out really good for me if you want to keep it as simple as possible you know you don't even have to bother with this i just thought it was interesting um, because the bowel movements were actually not as good the day after, but like the next couple of days, they were, they were better than they were, um, prior to that. So yes. Um, as far as endurance goes, I have not noticed a huge difference endurance wise between any of the starches, but it is nice to get in the rice at night because it does kind of replenish everything. And if you are somebody who works out in the morning, like I think a lot of people do, it really does kind of give you that ability to kind of just when you get up, drink, drink some water, maybe have like a little juice or something or just like a piece of fruit and you just go go do what you want to do. So that does work out quite well. I haven't noticed. I've noticed better results from the rice than the potatoes in that regard. But if you're somebody who's going to eat most of the day and then you're going to work out uh, sometime in the afternoon, I don't think that's as big a, a, of a deal. But if you're a morning workout person, I do find that rice works better. I was talking to somebody that I know and she actually finds that wheat does the best if you're, uh, you know, work out in the morning. So tr try that out. This is kind of like a morphed uh, rice diet. If you're somebody who really struggles with a lot of binging and a lot of indecision on what you should eat. Maybe just stick with the rice diet. 
that's probably your best bet. That way you don't have to have, what do I make fatigue? Like try to think about it all day. You know, like what am I going to make for dinner and lunch? And I don't even label my meals. I just eat when I'm hungry. That's another uh, thing. People have been asking me how much rice, how much potatoes that I eat. It really depends on the day. It really depends on the day. Um, so I don't really have any specifics. Like yesterday, I actually only ate twice. I had a smoothie in the morning. It held me all day. And then I had a bunch of rice at night. So, But then there's other days where I literally could eat like the house, it feels like. I just, so I don't pre-plan anything at all. Another thing that you can do if you have a rice cooker, I always link it down below, is you can just start off the day, or you can actually do this at night. So you'll put a bunch of rice in there, uh, clean it out, uh, you know, rinse it off, uh, you know, and then put the water that you need in it. And you can put it on a timer and you can have it ready for the morning. And then you just take what you want and then come back and take what you want. And you can just do it that way. So you, you don't really even have to think about cooking. You can just put rice in the rice cooker, water in the rice cooker, hit the timer, have it in the morning, wake up, eat what you want. And it'll just keep it warm for 12 hours. And then you just eat, you know, whatever you're going to eat for the day. Now, I don't like the idea of letting it cool in the rice cooker because supposedly a lot of bacteria gets into that and obviously that is not something that you want because it was actually killing people in Japan. So that's never, that's never ideal. <laughs> You know, I'm not laughing about it. It's just that sucks. So this has been kind of all over the place. Hopefully this gives you a little bit of insight, a little bit of answering your questions about the rice diet. Hopefully this helps you out. Leave any comments, questions down below. The more questions I get about one thing, like a lot of people were asking me how much rice I eat. I'll, I can actually maybe even just do an entire video about that. And that's just been the journey. As far as how much I've lost, I don't really know. I do believe I'm in the 260s now. I weighed myself early mid wet last week and I was down in the yeah I, I think I'm probably in the 260s at this point I'm also doing an experiment with the seller sizer they're going to be making a video about in concurrence with this rice diet and that's it uh, talk to you in the next video